Look out, Adam Peaty, because you're going down. Why is it difficult to raise my chest out of the water while doing breaststroke? Great question, Lynn. Ooh, this is a tough one. And as a breaststroker, I know this can be one of the most challenging things. The stroke is so slow, there's so much resistance, but here's what you need to know. I strongly believe that with breaststroke, timing is everything. You've gotta nail this down. When you swim breaststroke, think in your head. I want you to think these three steps, pull, kick, glide. You should be able to count that in your head. Now the complicated part comes in how you breathe. You actually breathe on that first step and that's the pull. So remember, three steps, pull, kick, glide. If you don't have the glide, which is in streamline, you're really messing everything up. You have to hit the streamline and you have to glide. That's the part that most swimmers are missing and that actually cleans up your timing so much that allows you to get the right body movement. And what we're talking here in the question is being able to raise your chest out of the water. What happens is if you force that too much and you raise your chest out of the water, your legs are gonna sink and that's actually gonna make you really slow. And you would have been better off just staying flat in the water. But we know that the best swimmers are able to have a proper technique, pull, kick, glide, and that means your body, your upper body, is going to come out of the water. So think about it from the perspective of pull, kick, glide, and as you're pulling, that's when you're lifting your body up out of the water to breathe. Now it might be difficult for different people based on your body composition. So depending on how dense you are, like how much muscle you have compared to fat, it actually might change how difficult it is to nail this timing. But I strongly believe that by doing the proper technique, the proper timing, pull, kick, glide, you can really improve that. Now another drill that you can do is two kicks with one pull. Now this really forces you to go underwater for those two kicks, and if you're doing the two kicks on the surface of the water, that's not the proper way to do the drill. So I strongly encourage you to try three kicks with one pull, really dive yourself down, almost overdo it just so you can get the proper timing, and when you nail the timing with three kick, one pull, or two kick, one pull, you feel like an absolute superstar Look out, Adam PD, because you're going down. That would be awesome. But no, really, you want to focus on two kick, one pull, three kick, one pull. But most importantly, it's all about timing. And more than any other stroke in breaststroke, it comes down to pull, kick, glide. Don't forget that glide in streamline. And while you're gliding down to the comments, let me know what questions you have. Go ahead and destroy the like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the main My Swim Pro YouTube channel. That's where you get Whiteboard Wednesdays and all sorts of fun videos of swimming from all over the world. Thanks again for watching and happy swimming. Bye.